Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to give you a more updated current uh, guide on how to get exalted with the Scenarian Circle. So we've been covering so much still with this stuff, just trying to get as much info out there for you guys, whether you're trying to quest, farm, all of that. And actually, one of our guides that we actually were requested to do and did... At, I think like phase three launch is sort of blown up and it was how to get exalted with the scenario circle before phase five and now we're kind of in what I'm calling phase 4.5 because we have all this silith stuff and the pre stuff but we don't have a Q yet so it's a bit weird um, however I can confirm that the text the Twilight gear and so many other things are in the game so that's huge and that allows us really to grind out the scenario circle rep so I'm just going to go over everything that you can do and how you're going to be able to get some awesome stuff. Alrighty, so first off, when you first arrive here, you're going to have a bunch of quests that you can do. You do not have to do Into the Frontier. These quests will be available to you. Um, I have the, had them on my Priest as well as my Mage. My Priest, I did not do much, and my Mage, I did a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, I've done a guide where you cover all those quests those quests yield about 3k rep i started off at about 1300 neutral and ended up at about 1300 friendly so that's or yeah or yeah yeah i think that's about what we ended up at um so it, it comes out to about 3000 rep um it's a nice chunk and it'll definitely get you pushed forward um other than that after those quests, there's only repeatable dailies, and there is sort of a catch with those as well as the Twilight gear. So you will get these dailies here. This one will let you, after you summon three of the Twilight Elites and you kill them, uh, they are called the Templars, and we have covered those in all of our guides um, thus far. But you kill those. I will summon one for you here in this video just to show you what that's like. And the Templars reward 5 rep. Now, after you kill 3 Templars, you can get a Medallion of Station, which allows you to summon a Duke. And that Duke will then uh, give you 25 rep per kill. Um, it's a pretty nice way to go up through the rep things and sort of do that. However, getting the Medallion of Station will not give you reputation which that's up to you then once you hit revered you are able to get um the lord ship ring which will allow you to summon the um highest level the royals which are 20 man raid bosses so they're pretty fun to kill and but they do drop some epic awesome gear that might be an upgrade for you um we can go over that in the atlas loot real quick here i believe it is in collections then we come to Silithus Abyssals. So here are the Dukes. These are the second tier that we mentioned. Um, some notable items, at least, that I think are really good are these legging, these plate legs that have 1% crit. They can roll pretty nicely. Um, these cloth legs can also roll that, which is really good, too. Um, and then the Templars, they, they don't have that amazing of stuff just a lot of level 55 um gear there this dagger may be good for leveling uh this staff also probably pretty good if you don't have anything else um but then we come to the lords and now these have the good stuff like this elemental focus band this would be an upgrade for me right now so it's a pretty nice way to get an upgrade if you have absolutely nothing um, and then these shoulders, which are hit and can have spell power enchants. So these are also pretty freaking good. I don't know how good the shield is, if it's good or not. I'm not too versed in that. But you can also get this wave front necklace, which is good for uh, healers. 24 and 8.8 mana per 5. Now these these items are the epics are bop. However, the blues are BOE, so you might get lucky with these. Um, 
but j that's just sort of what you can get with the Silithus Abyssals here. Now, after you're doing the quest, you will have to turn in some encrypted Twilight text to two people. Some will be right here, and the other guy is down there. Hermit will mail you um, gear and sort of recipes that have shadow resists on them for blacksmithing and tailoring. If you are a pattern collector and you really want them, then you can do that. Um, but I would not recommend doing that until after you come here and turn in these texts. Now, when you turn in these texts, you're going to get 100 reputation per. Now, something I just did right here is kind of silly to turn these in. I'm obviously doing this to show you, but I would recommend grinding to Honored or even Revered before you turn in these texts. If you're going for Exalted, um, once you're Honored, you can only kill Twilights um, up here in this northern camp from Honored to Revered. After Honored, you don't get one rep from any of these three camps, just killing normal Twilight. So the, the best way to do this, in my opinion, would to be go from neutral, grinding all the way up to Honored, just killing them. I know that's a lot of killing, but you can do some free-for-all group looting. And that's the best way I've found. You just sort of invite a group and you just kill them till you know, you're satisfied, but you said on free-for-all, that way you guys are not just competing. You are competing in a way, but you guys can get your own loot for your tag, and you don't have to deal with everyone sharing, and you just say, FFA, you tag, you loot, and that's how I would recommend going about this. Now, once you reach um, Honored, um, you will then go over here, and you can only get rep from mobs in that cave. If you want to grind Honored to Revered by just doing that, that's a really good way. And while you're doing all this, is you save all these Twilight texts. Because you're going to need about <laughs> 4,200, if my math's right. That was just some quick math, but that would get you exalted. If you were to go from neutral to exalted, you'd need 4,200 texts. Now, that's completely up to you what you want to do. Um and sort of any combination but just do the math it's a hundred per ten that's all you got to do guys and then you can come here turn on all those uh quests and rep and get those done so that's sort of it for those general things once aq20 is out you get about 3k rep per run and you get those signets um that's just something to keep in mind i can't really tell you much about those because i for one don't know too much about them and the aq is not out so i can't really give you very very good information now one of the quests here is going to be an abyssal crest um get an abyssal crest and all you have to do if you have an app like quest here or some add-on like that it'll tell you to come over to these camps and it'll just show you how you can get it but you probably will be pretty confused because you don't see what you need to kill to get it. However, you're going to find one of these lesser windstones, and then you're going to put on some of your gear, and then you're going to summon this monster. Now, while you summon it, it does consume the gear you took put on, so be very careful as to uh, putting it on. Now, these are level 60 elites, so you're going to want to kite these around and not really fight them straight up because they do hit pretty hard. I, I'm a mage, so I can kite him pretty nicely, but even then, they still kind of hurt. This guy is fire, so I'm kind of lucky on that since, but, you know, we're still going to play it smart. I'm winner's chill spec here, so that makes it pretty simple for me. Um, but, again, as you can see, I'm, I'm straight PvE gear, just sort of killing these guys. If you do die to them, you do lose um, the summon, and it's not really good to die to them. We almost died there, but we were able to get that, and we got a Heart of Fire and that Abyssal Crest, as well as we got 5 Reputation for that kill. So that's pretty much it. They spawn every 3 minutes, and now if we were to get 3 of the Crests, we would be able to get a Medallion of Station, and then we would be able to come to a just a normal Windstone, not these Greater ones. These Greater ones are what summon the Royals. We'd have to come to what's that right there a wind stone and as you see someone killed the duke of shards right here that is one of those big dukes that i was talking about now i do have footage from another video so i'm going to roll that of us killing a duke it'll be uh, sort of explaining that and it has been in a lot a few of the other videos so just briefly going over that but my best advice would be kill things till honored if you want to go straight to revered you can and honestly by then if you killed everything and then you still had quests and stuff, then you would probably have enough Twilight pages to turn in. 
Um, it's up to you what you want to do. And without AQ20 being out, there's no real just, oh, we can sort of grind and stuff. I'm at a disadvantage because I'm going to hit Honored far before anything else. Um, and the big reason you want to go here is you want to um, get some awesome, awesome crafting pieces from these factions. So we're going to take a look at the Scenarian Circle and all of these um, beautiful, beautiful patterns. Now, it does say that they are Phase 5, which is new. It is said Phase 6 from pretty much every time I've looked at this. So with Friendly, you can get these Savalian Shoulders, um, this Enchant Greater Fire Resist Cloak, just tons of awesome nature resist gear for every crafting profession tailoring leatherworking blacksmithing as well as some enchantments like greater nature resist for being honored with them um, blacksmithing is going to give you some awesome mail and plate gear as well as leatherworking will also do the same so you can just get all kinds of gear i would give it a look guys um but you're going to need some nature resist gear for AQ. Not going to lie. That's just a fact. Um, but anyway, guys, I believe that's it. That's pretty much everything that you can do in Silithus and how I would recommend you grind to get exalted here with the Scenarian Circle. So here's the footage of me killing the Duke, and I will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. So here is us summoning another one of the Dukes. Should be pretty fun and exciting. Here we go. Bam, the Duke is summoned. We got the Earth one. Should be pretty uh, fun. I like how they give you a moment to get your gear on. That is definitely the most important thing. It appears that they aggro directly to the uh, caster. Um, so just be aware of that. Whoever's summoning it, um, be aware because it can kill you pretty quickly and they are immune to slow as we can see and they are hitting our tank pretty hard as well so just all that's things you can be aware of um yeah as you saw right there i actually pulled threat off of our tank so i'm pretty geared and and so I, that does happen but you can also get help like just ask people around you i'm sure people are willing to sort of do it or make agreements that if they have it they could uh help you fight it or whatever works for you guys just come to some agreement and you know sort of be nice and friendly and i'm sure you'll have no problem killing it but in order to save some time guys that's pretty much it for this video um I want to just wrap it up and sort of tell you everything that you can get and sort of see that you do get 25 rep for killing that and wow those are some really good pants that that dude got they uh, sell really really nicely um, but yeah I just wanted to show you that and let you know alrighty guys so that is it thank you so much if you have any questions I would be happy to answer them I've pretty much almost become an expert on everything scenario and still at this and phase five by now I've looked up all of it um, one thing I forgot to mention are Twilight Prophets they're a rare spawn that roams along this northern edge right here and the southern edge right here the northern prophets um, they spawn every 30 minutes and the Southern Prophets spawn every 70 minutes, roughly. So just sort of tracking the timers. Um, the Prophet is an elite mob, which, I mean, he is soloable, but he does spawn with four or five other people. So get in a group, maybe two, three people, and you just farm the Prophets, split the text. Um, the Prophets do drop so a quest item that you can turn in for more rep, as well as they drop um, 7 to 10 Twilight texts. So that's, you know, 10 gold if they are 1G on your server. They're anywhere between 1 and 2G on my server right now. So that's the range that you're going to find yourself um, killing them at. And yeah, guys, so that's it. I think I have covered every single thing you can do for Scenarian Rep. If I miss anything, feel free to comment. Um, anything you would like to know, just let me know, guys, and I will try my best to get back to you. Any anyway, I hope you guys are having a uh, safe quarantine, and I hope you guys wash your hands and stay safe out there because it's some scary times we're living in. Alrighty, guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.